um, $1,876. Wow. Let's go, Brandon. The price is still going up. Well, okay, I talked to a John Deere mechanic this morning concerning the uh, electrical problem I'm having with the uh, warning uh, display on the combine. And his first thought was that it was a grounding issue, and I hadn't really thought of that. I'm not, I don't think that is a grounding issue because of the, the wires that I checked on the circuit board. Uh, but as I was searching here in, in my diagnostics manual for the grounding point, I found, I, I went further into the book and found a, another uh, diagram specifically for the warning display panel and, and how to check that out and see what the issue is. And, and I think this is this is where I'm coming to is replace warning display panel, but I, I'm going to go in and check continuity and I'm, I'm going to follow this. This one I've already done uh, here, but I skipped this step here. I'm going to go back and just verify that it's not a grounding issue before I get to that point there. I have not even looked up the part number or price for that. I'm sure it will scare me um, on what that warning display panel is. Uh, maybe I could find a junkyard, pull pull one out of an old machine. I don't know. Let's. Uh, but let me go in here and um, check for that grounding issue to see if that is my problem. Hopefully that's all it is. That would be simple. I think this is the grounding point here for the uh, warning uh, display panel. This looks okay, all the wires look okay on that. Um, but let me go back to the book and verify. All right, I got to check for continuity now, but to frame ground, I don't know where the hell I'm going to find a ground. Okay, I had to do some jerry-rigging to get this hooked up because I had to turn the key to the start position in order to test continuity. Uh, so I don't have enough hands to hold all these uh, leads and turn the key and all that. So I've I've done a rig here. I've got uh, this one connected going down to the tester and then I found a frame ground out there. Just did an extension here and let's see. I'm going to turn the key now. Let's see what happens on the on the meter. All right. I just want to make sure but it looks like we have continuity. When I turn the key we get a reading. There we go. Okay, so we're getting a reading through ground. All right, that's that test. So I think there's one more test before we determine if it's the board that is bad. All right, so uh to frame ground okay check continuity from number 12 frame ground switches in the start position uh is there continuity to ground yes on the warning display panel check voltage across harness end of uh j10 uh, j110 and j16 for 12 volts 
I think I did that um, Saturday, but let me check it one more time. I have to pull this other connector off. J10 and 6. And that is on this one. J10 and 6. Okay, so we can pull this one off. This I don't need. Turn the key on. And okay, we have 12 volts. Okay. So you know what that means. On warning display panel, check across 6 and 10 for 12 volt. Is there 12 volt? Yes. Replace warning display panel. That's what I was afraid of. Okay, I talked to my wife yesterday about this. Uh, she doesn't, where she's working at now, she does not have the tools to check this circuit panel. But I'm going to take it off. And I'm going to keep talking around because we are in a high-tech uh a high-tech community here this is what people work on around here so I might know somebody who knows somebody who has a third cousin that can work on this so let's see if I can get it off oh I need one of those special what do I No, no I just need a small a very small Phillips screwdriver. I'll be back. So I'm wondering if uh, maybe that is some kind of relay that goes bad that powers the whole board that could be taken off and replaced and we're good again. I don't know. As I said, this is beyond my expertise here. All right, I guess I'm going to the parts catalog and let me let me see how bad this is going to be. There's the number. If anybody has one of these laying around that still works, that's what I need. AH136570. All right. You can um act as surprised as I'm going to be. I'm, I'm going to guess about a thousand dollars. I had, I, well, yeah, that's my guess. Uh, AH136570 search. No results found. Hold on. Hello? I'm at the farm right now. I'm not. Do I, what? Oh, you have a government situation too? No, just the one from Friday, that's all. My government, my government. So this was my daughter on the phone. She, she's had a sinus infection for a couple of days now. So she finally went to urgent care. After waiting four hours at urgent care, where they still either have you wait in your car or if you come inside, you still have to wear the, the thing, you know, the thing. Even after CDC has come out and said how many weeks ago that the thing wasn't necessary in medical facilities anymore. Anyhow, she goes in to see the doctor, says, hey, I think I have a sinus infection. 
Uh, the doctor says, uh, yep, symptoms point to a sinus infection. How long have you had it? She said, uh, maybe, I don't, I don't know what she said, four or five days. It was just her, her whole face was congested. Um, and he said, oh, the government has sent out a notice that we cannot write prescriptions for antibodies any longer for the sinus infections, or maybe antibodies in general, uh, unless you have a chronic sinus infection, which means a month or more. What? What? A month or more, you have to have this sinus infection before the doctor can write a prescription for antibodies or else the government's coming in and checking on them to find out why are they writing all these prescriptions for antibodies. What? Okay, so the doctor walks out of the room. He comes back in. He said, um, how long have you had these uh, symptoms for this infection? My daughter says, oh, it's, it's been over a month now. She said, just in the last seven days, it's gotten, it's gotten worse, but yeah, over a month. Oh, okay, I, I'll write you a prescription for sinus, uh, chronic sinus infection. Oh my God, after a four hour wait and still having to wear that. Um, no COVID test though, they didn't make her do that. Um, all they did was ask her if she was concerned about COVID and she of course said no. Oh, all right. All right, back to back to this part here. All right, this is saying part not found. AH136570. No results found. Hmm, so that means it's been subbed about five times, so I need to call a dealer and figure this out. All right, let's 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 phone a friend or phone a dealer. I'm going to get the parts manual just to make sure that is the correct part. Okay, I've got the parts manual just to make sure I have the right part number before I call. Number three, circuit board. AH136570, AH136570. And it has a sub in here. So let me try the sub number. No results found for the sub. Oh, good afternoon. I've got a part number I'd like you to check to give me a little more information on, please. Uh, that part number is AH136570. And I'm sure it's gonna sub about five times. Okay, there's a, I've got another number here in, the, um, in my book that it subs to. Uh, that number says, uh, let me make sure I'm looking at the right line, AH146208. Yeah, well, I was guessing five, so I wasn't far off. <laughs> wow, okay, I was guessing $1,000, but... <laughs> I forgot to add the Biden tax to that. Um, ooh, okay. Um, you don't happen to know of any scrap yards. Do you deal with any um, scrappers that... Okay. Where are they located, do you know? Oh, you don't know. You just know the name. Okay. <laughs> oh, North Carolina. Okay. All right. Okay, uh, I'll search around a little bit. I didn't want to put that much into it, but I may need to. But it is available, you said, correct? Okay. All right, thank you so much. Enjoy your evening. Oh, yeah, that might help as well. Thank you. Go ahead. 939. Nine. Okay, thank you. All right, see ya. Ha! Ha! Wasn't I off on that? It subbed about 10 times, she said. Um, $1,876. Wow. And it is still available, so that's, that's good to know. She did give me a name of a scrapyard. Okay, I've got to... Got to figure out what I'm going to do here. Uh, I think the first thing is... 
maybe trying to find someone who can diagnose this and go from there. Because if it's a simple breaker or, or relay that's gone bad that powers the whole board, it, that can be replaced, I think. But we'll see. All right, stay tuned for this project. Okay, I just called uh, Worthington Ag in uh, North Carolina. Gave him the number. He's, he's going to do a little bit of searching, see if they have anything. I've never dealt with them. Apparently, they have a number of locations according to their website. Um, so I, I guess they do some salvaging. So he said they don't normally salvage uh, electronic stuff, but he'll look and uh, call me back. You know, when I complain about $1,800, <clears throat> that's, that's pretty darn cheap when you look at what this board is monitoring. You know, if the oil pressure drops in the engine, the light goes on. I don't know that now. Um, the, the pressure drop in the hydraulic system, if I bust a hydraulic hose or something like that, you know, I can blow a pump, I can blow an engine. Um, there's, there's problems that can happen by not having this warning system. $1,800, I guess, is a, is a cheap insurance policy for that. I'm trying to think of a way that I can rig something up in the meantime until I find a new one, whether I'm going to get a new one, repair this one, or whatever. Um, yeah, if, if I can do something easily to rig something up um, to give me some kind of light, at least for hydraulic pressure and oil pressure, those would be the two big ones um, to, to n at least know what's going on. So I'll see. Okay, I'm still making phone calls here, so uh, Ag, Ag Express Electronics. I've dealt with them before on uh, some moisture testers, uh, working on a moisture tester, recalibrating. Um, I guess that's probably the only thing. That, no, no, also maybe a monitor, maybe a, a planting monitor. I've, oh, yeah, and a GPS harness. They do some aftermarket harnesses uh, for GPS systems and tractors. Uh, so I gave them a call gave him the part number here on the board and he said hey we do work on those um what do you know so uh that sounds like the plan is to go ahead and send it to ag express they're located in grand island nebraska um he said the charge is probably about a uh, couple hundred dollars two three hundred dollars i think he said it was a flat rate to work on those and repair those so um I think that's what I'm going to do. I don't, I can't get it shipped out today, but I'm going to ship this out tomorrow to them and uh, have them look at it and see if they can fix it. So life is uh, starting to turn around here. It, it started out as a Monday, but, um, well, it's still a Monday, but uh, it's looking a little better going from uh, what, almost $1,900 to $300 and shipping costs even even if it's $500, it's still a big saving. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, um, I'm going to clean up my mess here, close all the drawers, put everything away, and then, um, hey, adult beverage time. I'm going to say, see ya.